Minister of Aviation and Aerospace Festus Kayamo recently read the Nigerian Meteorological Agency NIMET's released 2024 seasonal climate prediction where he stated that the 2024 onset of rain is predicted to be delayed in some parts of the country, especially in the north central states, and normal onset of rain is predicted to occur in other states, which implies that early and um, to the season is uh, predicted in some states which include Jigawa, Yobe, Kebi, Kano, Kaduna, Plato, Nasarawa, Taraba, Gombe, Bochi, Cross River, Eboyi, Ogun, and Lagos states. According to the National Emergency Management Agency, NEMA, monitoring of Lagos states, the last rainfall which occurred in the early hours of Tuesday, 20th February 2024, led to flooding in some communities in the states. The agency described the development as a signal of what may unfold as the rainy season enters full swing. 152 houses in seven communities were affected, although no life was lost. With this development, the need to intensify caution to all stakeholders, including Lagos residents, is imperative. On Panorama Today, we intend to do just that. Well. Be reminded that you can follow this news broadcast live on our website at nta.ng slash live and on our other social media handles displayed on the screen for updates. I am Adeola Komiakiri, thanking you for joining us on Panorama. We'll begin with the NLC protests. The Nigerian Labour Congress has embarked on its planned two days a national protest despite pleas, interventions and withdrawal of trade union congress and other organizations. Our labor correspondent Joseph Otsen, who was at the headquarters of the Nigeria Labor Congress, reports that complying workers from unions affiliated to the labor union converged to embark on work around the federal capital territory Abuja with placards carrying different messages that expressed their grievances and requests from government at all levels. The two-day protest ends on Wednesday, 28th February 2024. And still talking about the protest, the Nigeria Labour Congress NLC Lagos State Chapter has commenced its peaceful rally to express the union's stand on the present economic condition in the country as it affects its members and Nigerians. The rally kicked off at on the bridge Ikeja with the NLC and its affiliate members marching through Obafemi Awolowa Way all through Allen Junction as at the time of filing this report. The union is appealing for better living condition, reduction in price of food items, and urgent step to stop devaluation of the Naira. The union also asked the federal government to give Nigerian workers a living wage instead of minimum wage. The security personnel were on ground to prevent the protest from being hijacked by hoodlums. And still on the protest, the federal government has appealed to the organized labor to reconsider its planned protest in the interest of the nation. The organized labor is planning, uh, has begun a two-day um, protest from Tuesday, 27th February to Wednesday, 28th February. However, the Minister of Information and National Orientation, Mohammed Idris, called on Nigerian Labor Congress NLC to shelve the planned um, protest. As he said, the government is fulfilling its own side of the earlier agreement with the organized labor. All the 15 points that were agreed upon 
would label uh, in the last quarter of last year, in October last year, uh, they have almost all been fulfilled, uh, over 80 percent uh, compliance by the federal government. And so that is why government sometimes is baffled about uh, the need for the Nigerian Labor Congress to think that uh, it is appropriate for it to embark on a strike at this point. But they are Nigerians, they are brothers and sisters, federal government keeps calling on them and we are not going to relent in drawing their attention to the need for them to see reason with government, why government is going through and Nigeria is going through uh, challenges of the moment. We don't think that it is the right time for labor to embark on any kind of protest or whatsoever. And moving on to the Senate, President of the Senate, Gatsuel Lekbabio, says his comment on allocations to states is well intended as it was meant to urge state governments to collaborate with President Tinubu to facilitate strategic interventions to mitigate prevailing economic situations. Senator Akbabio, in a statement, notes that he is aware state governors are valuable stakeholders and urges them not to be distracted by misunderstanding the context and meaning of his statement. He adds that conjectures to take away the material facts of federal Federation accounts and location committee payments were unfortunate. Akwabio states that he recognizes and appreciates the current effort of the governors to ameliorate adverse effects of a socioeconomic environment in the country. And to FEC, President Bola Tinubu has approved the re commencement of the National Social Investment Program earlier suspended. The decision was revealed at the end of the Federal Executive Council meeting at the State House this Monday. Ms. Mao, Dan Wahab has more. Second meeting of the Federal Executive Council in the year. Expectedly, memos were waiting for consideration. Most of them were to address the present socio-economic realities in the country. The inter-ministerial panel set up six weeks ago to review the suspended National Social Investment Programme submitted its interim report, which the Council considered. The Council approved that the viable programmes, including the school feeding initiative and the conditional cash transfer, are to be sustained with modified mechanisms for better efficiency. At the briefing afterwards, the Finance and Coordinating Minister of Economy, Wali Edu, revealed that the Council believes the current situation demands an immediate reinstatement of transfer of 25,000 Naira to 12 million households for the period of three months. Direct payments to 12 million uh, households comprising 60 million Nigerians is to resume immediately with the proviso, with the important proviso that every beneficiary will be identified by their NIN, national identity number, and the BVN, bank verification number. And so therefore, payments will be made into um, bank accounts or mobile money wallets. And what we're looking to do here is the triangulation of this data set to ensure that not only are we using uh, the register that is properly, properly been, been uh, uh, populated, but that we also do proper verification of every individual that will benefit from, from that investment, uh, that social investment program, which means we will give commitment to ensuring that no one is paid twice because you have to be properly ID'd before you can benefit from, from that program. The government is also considering another program to boost the purchasing power of the Nigerian youth. For the unemployed graduates as well as um, uh, the society as a whole. So we have coming in the nearest future an unemployment benefit for the young unemployed in particular. Meanwhile, the Council has approved the review of about a thousand roads contracts across the country which have been stored by the current forex realities. 
It's equally approved the award of contract for the first phase of a coastal road which commences in Lagos. Coastal approved by BPP is um, for 47.474 kilometer. That's phase one, section one, and it contains two carriageways, two service lanes, two uh, service ducts, provision for rail infrastructure, and uh, on the whole, 10 lanes in all per kilometer. And the cost is 1.067 trillion naira. From the State House, Musbao Danwaha, NC News. In a landmark decision, President Bola Tinubu has approved the implementation of the age Lang or Ron Sae report. This is one of the decisions taken at this Monday's meeting of the Federal Executive Council at the State House. The report submitted by the Ron Sae Committee under the Good Luck Ebele Jonathan administration in 2012 has endured successive administrations without implementation. By implication, some federal agencies would either be scrapped, merged, or relocated. Um, for agencies that are required to be merged, I'll take it. Um, National Agency for Control of AIDS, HIV AIDS, NACA to be merged with the Center for Disease Control in the Federal Ministry of Health. National Emergency Management Agency to be merged with the National Commission for Refugee Migration and Internally Displaced Persons. The Directorate of Technical Cooperation in Africa to be merged with the Directorate of Technical Aid and to function as a department in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Infrastructure Concession and Regulatory Commission to be merged with Bureau for Public Enterprises. Nigerian Investment Promotion Commission to be merged with Nigerian Export Promotion Council. National Agency for Science and Technology and Science and Engineering Infrastructure to be merged with National Center for Agriculture Mechanization and the Project Development Institute. The National Biotechnology Development Agency to be merged with the National Center for Genetic Resource and Biotechnology. The National Institute for Leather Science Technology to be merged with the National Institute for Chemical Technology. The Nomadic Education Commission to be merged with the National Commission for Mass Literacy, Adult Education, and Non-Formal Education. The Federal Radio Corporation to be merged with the Voice of Nigeria. The National Commission for Museum and Monuments to be merged with the National Gallery of Arts. The National Theater to be merged with the National Troop of Nigeria. The National Meteorological Development Center to be merged with the National Meteorological Training Institute. The Nigerian Army University, BU, to be merged with the Nigerian Defense Academy to function as a um, faculty within the um, Nigerian Defense Academy. Air Force Institute of Technology, also to be merged with the Nigerian Defense Academy to function as a faculty of um, Nigerian Defense Academy. We now move to the agencies to be subsumed. The Service Compact with Nigeria, Servicom, to be subsumed to function as a department under the Bureau for Public Service Reform. The Border Communities Development Agency to be subsumed to function as a department under the National Boundary Commission. The National Salaries, Income and Wages Commission to be subsumed into the Revenue Mobilization and Fiscal Allocation Commission. The Institute for Peace and Conflict Resolution to be subsumed under the Institute for International Affairs. The Public Complaints Commission to be subsumed under the National Human Rights Commission. The Nigerian Institute for Trypanosomiasis to be subsumed into the Institute for Veterinary Research. The National Med Medicine Development Agency to be subsumed under the National Institute for Pharmaceutical Research and Development. Um, the National Intelligence Agency Pension Commission to be subsumed under the Nigerian Pension um, Commission. For agencies to be relocated, the Niger Delta Power Holding Company to be relocated to the Ministry of Power. The National Agricultural Land Development Agency to be relocated to the Federal Ministry of Agriculture and Food Security. The National Blood Service Commission to be converted into an agency and relocated to the Federal Ministry of Health. The Nigerian Diaspora Commission to be converted into an agency and to be relocated to the Federal Ministry, to the Ministry of Finance. The point is that the fact that you are margin does not necessarily mean that you are, you are going to lose jobs. 
But of course, you know that efficiency will come in, and if efficiency comes in, if there is, if there is discovery that somebody is not you know, doing what he should do, he'll be supported to go elsewhere or create another avenue for him to get employed. The, the whole idea is not to throw people out of jobs. This is not the whole idea. The whole idea is to create efficiency and also make it possible for government to save funds where necessary. A committee to be headed by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation as to work out the modalities for implementation. And moving on now, the Nigerian Customs Service has announced the temporary suspension of its food disposal initiative until it can establish what transpired on February 23, 2024 at its old zonal headquarters, Yaba, Lagos, where some fatalities and injuries were recorded. A statement from the Public Relations Officer of the Service, Abdullahi Waiwada, states that Customs responded to President Bola Tinobu's directive to alleviate hardship faced by Nigerians, but emphasized the crowd became charged when it ran out of stock. He says Nigeria Customs Service extends its heartfelt condolences to the families of those who lost their lives during the unfortunate incident. And it's time for us to take a breather. Panorama continues. Thereafter, please stay. Many thanks for staying with us. And the report just reaching us says, in its bid to support households and other sectors, Ekete State Government has approved a set of relief programs to alleviate the hardship being experienced by being experienced in the face of a current global economic downturn. A statement signed by the Special Advisor to the Governor on Media, Olayinka Oyebodi, says the Governor approved an increase of 600 million naira per month in the subvention of autonomous institutions, payment of two months pension arrears of state and local government workers to the tune of 1.5 billion naira, in addition to the sum of 1 billion naira to improve food production, among others. The statement adds that the state government will also launch 500 million naira loan program to support medium and small scale businesses in Ekiti State. Moving on now, a few days of rain in the city of Lagos has already caused flooding in seven communities. This development, according to NEMA, is a clear indication of what might happen when the rainy season starts fully. Larry Belayi reports that environmentalists believe early preparations should be in top gear to mitigate flood disasters in the state rapidly expands due to its growing population thereby overstretching existing infrastructure the increasing demand to maintain its waterways and drainage channels compounded by sea level rise often brings about severe annual flooding especially during rainy season some communities have recorded disruptions in their socio-economic life due to flooding environmentalists say a proactive environment management plan is key to mitigating tales of woe caused by flooding each year and the first step is preparing for the rainy season. There are short-term and long-term solutions. The, so the short-term solution, major one, that, I mean the, the reaction that we should have immediately is to ensure that the drainage channels are cleared. Cleared completely no matter what is standing in the way, no matter how beautiful it is, as long as it's blocking drainage channels, should be removed. People must on their own clear wastes from where water passes. Now the long-term solution to this is that a city, a state, a mega city like Lagos should for now, because it can only grow bigger in the city. Now, a proper environmental reassessment, environmental reevaluation, because the more people flock to Lagos, the more challenges the city throws up. And one of them are in plural environmental challenges. The fact that it happened so early in the year 
buttresses this fact. So definitely it should be taken as a warning and all the necessary measures to ensure that the drainages are effective, that drainage areas, either natural ones or ones that have been developed by the and to further expatiate on the topic, I have with me Ibrahim Fari Luye, the State Coordinator of National Emergency Management Agency in Neymar, Lagos State. You're welcome to our studios. Good, good afternoon, man. Good afternoon, viewers. All right, uh, let's restate the peculiar cause of flooding in Lagos to get a better grasp over the magnitude of what we are talking about. Well, um, basically, there are two types of flooding the natural rainfall and the man then we have uh, release of water from Ogun Ocean River Basin Authority yeah. stage by stage already the basin has been releasing water gradually to offload the water in the dam so that it won't overwhelm the community all right as usual okay the natural rainfall, which is which can never be controlled, but we can only mitigate it, is okay. what uh, causes much damage All right. and uh, impacting mostly negatively on the resident. And okay. out of this one, we have the uh, uh, river uh, community at the river bank. That are also like, affected. Uh, that are their own type of rainfall is different, is constant. The effect of what happened in the interland, we get to them and later part of the year, and it runs. Part of the communities are still having effect of last, last year's year, rainfall, okay, where the so, interland does not all right. have yet. Okay, now so um, with what um, the predictions have been, um, should we be panicking at this moment? Well, there is no need for us to panic. Uh, gradually, the nation or the emergency responders and all the stakeholders, they are living up to expectations based on our own assessment and the global assessment. Remember, we have World Bank that came in. They are still on it. The Commonwealth of Nations, okay. they came in. Then the community, West African community came in. This last year, we have been having series to come and learn, lesson learned yeah. from Nigeria. Okay. What happened in 2022, we have times two of what happened in 2023. Okay. But the effect on 2023 it's still is lesser. Off. No, it's still lesser than what happened in 20, 20. because of our preparedness. Okay. You know, in disaster manual, all you learn is once you an incident happened, from the lessons learned from there, you prepare ahead. We work, we work with worst scenario. All right. Now, an average Nigerian now living in Lagos, what are disaster risks, um, you know, reduction strategies should he or she imbibe at this moment? You see, every sector of the economy must prepare. The industries must be prepared. You and I must be prepared. But the basic thing, our children, they must be fully trained hmm. on disaster risk reduction in their schools and other areas. Why the others, information dissemination and use, use, usage of the information acquired, very, very important. Okay. They should listen to radio on, uh, and televisions on regular basis on weather forecast, okay. and they should prepare towards it. All right. Now, uh, NEMA is one of the agencies working in this line. What other, um, you know, agencies are working in tandem with you and what are their preparations so far? Well, in Lagos states, the primary agency that is the lead is the state minister of uh, environment. Yeah. It has so many agencies under it and we are all working together. together. We have a fire service which comes second to them because if there is any need for emergency, Fire service takes the lead okay. in search and rescue. Yeah. So we are working together. Where there are gaps, we try as much as possible to fill the gap. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Faraloye, for enlightening Nigerians on what to do and what to expect as the rainy season uh, sets in. Thank you for joining us on Panorama. Yeah. Okay, it's time for us to quickly take spots up.